Welcoming the, 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 the Planet the Elephant. Happiness is now. And only now. Not before. Not after. Only now. Maitri, I want to be happy now and after. No. Damedes. If you want to be happy after, you're not now. Now. Just now. There is no after. There is no before. Feel it. Only now is real. The past is not real. The future may never exist. But now is real. Only now. There is only now. Yes, we can have an infinity of now. But if you want happiness, don't think about it. Only now. One now at a time. One now at a time. If, if you reach this level, now, this level of now, because there are different levels of now. If you reach the ultimate level of now, now, you have never been as happy before. And you will never be more happy in the future. I repeat. You can be now more happy than ever. That's what Buddha called the instant Buddha. Stupid people, they go to monastery and think, oh, I need to study many years, meditate many years, and slowly I will reach the level of perfect happiness. Totally stupid. <laughs> no need to go to any monastery in Tibet or anywhere. No need to study. Study is thinking and accumulating knowledge. Knowledge can never make you happy. So, happiness is not something you acquire slowly by studying or progressing. There is no progress in happiness. Progress is now. Now, no more happiness. No progress. Now. Now you can be equal to Buddha. Equal to Yahweh. Equal to Maitreya. Even the most shy and humble amongst you. Because there is no progression. So can you feel it? It's easy. Very easy. Stop, stop thinking. That's difficult. <laughs> and that's the key. 
Where is located happiness? In the supra consciousness. We have a reptilian brain, like a snake brain. Reptilian snake. That's the lowest brain. This brain is uh, I see a lion, I run away. It's good. It is a very primitive brain. It helps us stay alive. Lion? Habu? Abunai, dangerous, I run away. That's not even consciousness. It's a reflex. Then you have consciousness, which is the thinking brain. And for normal people, they want to raise their level of consciousness. which is completely stupid. Consciousness is thinking. Consciousness of the past. Consciousness of everything around me. Consciousness of the future. This will never make you happy. It's thinking. The consciousness is like a huge garbage bin. Every day you put more inside. And the brain remember. The brain is this part of the brain, the consciousness, accumulate knowledge. Knowledge from books or from experience. It's the same. More terrible from experience. And children, they are in the supra consciousness. When you were a child, you find a beautiful insect, you play one hour. Adult, they say, ah, yeah, an insect. And they go, thinking. No more, wow, wow. We all play with insects for one hour, two hours. When I was a child, my favorite animal was a snail. They are slow. And I was making, putting 10 on a line and making a race. And betting which one will be the faster. Across a, a, a place. And looking. Take a long time. It was a kind of meditation already. And I could spend three hours until they reach the finish line. There was no time. I'm sure you had this kind of experience. With bugs or with any kind of animal. But today, if you do it, your family will bring you to a doctor. You have a mental problem. No. Do it. Be back to that. Every day we create more garbage. And this thinking brain, consciousness, of his favorite hobby, 
is to process again and again and again the same memory. And you all experience this, we all, me too, before. When we cannot sleep, and we think, and think, and think more, suddenly you cannot sleep anymore. Because, and sometimes you have no sleep at all because you start thinking and thinking and you cannot stop. Eh? Everybody. You see, how bad is consciousness? Especially if you have an exam next day, or business appointment, anything important, the night before, you need a good sleep. No. What will happen? And remembering the past experience, and then 1 a.m., 5 a.m., no sleep. And you go to the meeting very tired. <laughs> and worried a lot. Baka. Totem most stupid. Very stupid. The supra consciousness, and it's beautiful, is a few very little group of neurons. And that's the real you. That's the part which was playing three hours with the snail. But it's still alive. But we don't use it. We use the garbage brain. And people are not happy. So they drink alcohol, use pills, smoke, browse the internet to forget how bad they feel. It's distraction. Distraction. And the society is very, very good at distracting people from real happiness. And bringing you in the thinking brain. All the politicians want you to think. Your parents want you to think. Want you to be afraid of the future. You need to work. You need to study. If not, you will be jobless. The streets of America are full of people with a lot of diplomas and jobless. And even if you succeed, The percentage of suicide amongst people with a high level of university degree is 10 times higher than poor people. Poor and uneducated. That's why Jesus was saying, happy the simple-minded people. This little, 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 tiny group of neurons, supraconsciousness. The best image I can give you, it's a snail. It's a snail. And it's never ever affected by the thinking brain. But you cannot use both. 
If you use a thinking brain, the snail go back in the shell. And you cannot be happy. Or you can have joy. Which are the most dangerous thing to happiness. Joy is beautiful if you have happiness. But if you have no happiness and only joy, you will never be happy. On the contrary, more joy, less and less possibility to reach happiness. What What is the difference between happiness and joy? Joy is coming from outside. Money. Wow, I'm happy. No. It's a joy. Cruising a beautiful girl or a handsome boy, new partner. Wow, I am happy. No. It's joy. Money. Ah, you might have a huge joy. Next day you lose everything. And you cry. Beautiful girl, handsome boy. Wow. Then he or she go to somebody else and... Ooh. This is not... Happiness. But people say, I am happy. You are not happy. You are joyful. Joy is not bad. If you have happiness, you can have happiness and joy. Why having only happiness? You can have all. But happiness is a priority. How? Happiness comes from inside. Not from something given to you or coming from outside. Happiness is not connected to anything outside yourself. Not money, not professional success, not diplomas, not sexual partners. So what is happiness? Feeling now. Just now. That's perfect happiness. Nothing given to you. Not receiving anything. You can be without any money sitting in the street, on the ground. No partner, no money, no food. And feel happiness. Or you can have a lot of money and kill yourself. Because it's not happiness. You can have 20 girlfriends, Many have done to your friend and kill yourself. But if you feel now, you don't need anything. But you can enjoy. Why not? Happiness is a stable state. Happiness is not a wow. Happiness is a a permanent, stable wow. An inner wow. It, it never makes you jump. It makes you, wow, I don't need anything. Now it's beautiful. That's happiness. For no reason. Can we laugh? Yes. For no reason. 
not because somebody fall in front of you. It's very funny when people fall. No. Not because uh, there is somebody funny on the stage. Not because there is a joke. You wake up in the morning. It happened to me many times. And just the feeling to be alive, I cannot stop laughing. Just of being now. And that's real happiness. And smile for no reason. If you have a reason to smile, you're not happy. If you have a reason to laugh, you're not happy. If you have a reason to wow, you're not happy. Wow for no reason. Usually it's calm. You know, stress is very dangerous. But uh, scientists have proven that positive stress is make as many damage in the brain as negative stress. The most, the most beautiful example is the number of people dying from heart attack The number of people dying because they have something very joyful is very high. Because it's a stress. One of the places where you have the most, the highest number of heart attack, casino. Not people losing. People winning. <laughs> Suddenly they, they play the machine. Wow, one million. Wow! Uh, and I. They die rich. So scientists this prove that the stress, positive stress, is, can, be, can be as dangerous as negative stress. It's not happiness. Happiness is the best thing for health. In your body, everything flows peacefully. Your heartbeat goes down. Your metabolism slows down. Your breathing slows down. A wonderful sensation of mental orgasm come. Calm and happy. There is no more time. When you really feel now, you don't know how long. When you go in a deep meditation, Of feeling now can spend one hour, two hours. Sometimes I put an alarm clock because I can I can do so much that suddenly I cannot go to have lunch. I don't know. There is no more time. When you really are now, there is no more time. Happiness is here, right here, and right now. Oh, a long time people have been saying that. But I bring a new element for you this year. Very new. Happiness is here and now. 
OK? But is there a now? What is now? How long is now? One minute? No. Now is right now. One second? No. One tenth of a second? No. One hundredth of a second? No. One thousand? One millionth of a second? No. One billionth of a second? And we go back to the symbol of Elohim. Infinity. So, now is a gate to infinity. Because when you reach, when you reach, really reach now, it's incommensurable, meaning it cannot be measured. You can divide by one billion of billion of billion and it still can be divided. So the truth is there is no now. When you really reach now, there is no now. Because it's infinity. Suddenly you feel infinity through the gate of time. And so happiness is now, but a now which doesn't exist. And here, eh? happiness is right here. What is right here? You can put on it, imagine yourself. Where are you? What is here? Where are we? Ah, we are on a blue planet called Earth. That's here. Okay. You can put a little arrow and you have the solar system. Eh? Like in the subway, you have sometimes a map with the arrow saying, you are here. So you can have a map with billions of stars. Where are we? What is here? Little arrow. Our star. Okay, but space, infinity of galaxies. We are here. Let's come back. On Earth. Where are we? What is here? In Asia. Where? Okinawa. What is the name of this city? Nago? So we are in Nago. No. We are in this room. Mm, no. We are on this chair. So here is this chair, right? So it's, you, you, here is your ass. No. What you feel here is brain, not ass. Right? But what is here? Is it really all the thinking brain you feel here? The thinking brain cannot feel here. Who can feel the thing here? The supraconsciousness, yes. Oh, what is supraconsciousness? A little package of neurons. Very small. Maybe less than 100. But many neurons. Which one feel now? There is one. 
I call him the alpha neuron. The leader of the pack. This one feels here. And which part of the neuron? We don't know yet. So, happiness is here. But there is no here. And now? But there is no now. Here is a gate to infinity in space. Now is a gate to infinity in time. That was the symbol of Elohim is so important. And that, that's why the meditation on this symbol is so important. Because it brings you nowhere and never and always and forever. Never and forever and nowhere and everywhere. That's infinity. Infinity is all and nothing. Nothing and everything. If you feel that, you really feel now, which doesn't exist. And here, which doesn't exist. And this year is a fantastic year. One, one month ago, those who receive Rael Science saw an article. Scientists say space is an illusion. There is no really here. So the science of man, which is very primitive, starts slowly to reach the beginning of the beginning of the beginning of the science of Elohim. So, what is, how can you practically reach happiness? Because this is beautiful teaching. But everybody sitting here say, well, okay, what can I do? How, how do I eat this hamburger? Huh? Truth is like a hamburger. How do I eat? What separates me from this feeling of infinity? In the here and now which doesn't exist. The first step, an ultimate step, is stopping thinking. And that's the most difficult thing in the world. Feeling now is very easy. Very easy. When you stop thinking, but stopping thinking is the most difficult thing in the world. <laughs> Very difficult. And you can feel how damaging and bad is thinking. In very simple things. The most simple. Making love. Okay? For men, if you think when you make love, it goes down very quickly. To make love and have orgasm, you need to stop thinking and feel. Feel! Many Raelians come to me and say, Maitreya, I have difficulty having sex. 
Why? I say, what do you think when you make love? I'm afraid it will not work. You are thinking. <laughs> If you are afraid it's not work, it's not work. <laughs> Stop thinking. Yeah, but many times it happened in the past. These men are making love and think, oh, ten times I couldn't, so maybe again today. They are thinking about the past. I'm not feeling now. Sex is exactly like meditation. When you really reach orgasm, there's no thinking. If you think, you cannot have orgasm. Suddenly you, wow. You don't jump. You don't say, wow, I'm coming. No. It's something beautiful. And if you try to understand what's happening, it stops immediately. Okay, oh, I feel something. What is happening? Finish. Woman also. If you think, or feel with the consciousness, oh, it smells bad. Finish. If you think, oh, but it's like animal, but disgusting, finish. So sex is a, it's a very good school to reach high level of meditation. Those who cannot have a good sex life cannot reach the supraconsciousness and feel now. It's impossible. Stopping thinking so difficult. And then you, your goal is to have the snail of the supraconsciousness come out. You know the little snail is come out like that? Because the snail of supraconsciousness always protects himself from the thinking brain. Because thinking brain can damage supraconsciousness. So the supraconsciousness go back in the shell like a snail Boop, and wait. Can wait. One year, ten years, all your life. Some people never use supraconsciousness. You can have a perfectly normal life without using supraconsciousness. 99.99999999% percent people never use supraconsciousness. And they have a normal life. They work, they make money, they have children, and they die, and they never know happiness. They drink, they smoke, they are depressed, they take medicine, That's everybody. That's not you. That's not what you want. That's why you are here. You don't want to have a happiness with a, because of a glass of beer. If not, you will be in a bar and not with me here. You feel that there is something more powerful inside you. This snail. What is amazing is even the most terrible mental disease, very depressed people, schizophrenia,
Toshiaki. Paranoia. Every mental disease. People who are in psychiatric hospital. Eh? The supraconsciousness is never damaged. Never. Always ready to come out. And the most beautiful example, and, and I, I recommend everybody to watch this movie, Beautiful Mind. I hope you saw this movie. If not, please watch it. Beautiful Mind is a real story of an American genius, a mathematic teacher, who have schizophrenia, which is a terrible mental disease. People with schizophrenia, they, they hear voices. They see people who doesn't exist. Sometimes they kill other people because the voice says, kill this man, and they do it. So we could think of oh, these people, they have no supraconsciousness. Yes, they have it. And it's perfectly healthy. Normal people who have schizophrenia, they need medicine forever. But this man, he learned how to control his brain and to say, okay, this is not real. And he can stop his medicine slowly and learn to manage his schizophrenia and to see, okay, this voice is not real. I will not listen. The voice is still coming. But he learned to recognize a real voice of real people and voice created by his brain. He learned to recognize real people and people the brain creates. and can stop his medicine. Who is controlling? Not his consciousness, it's sick. When he say, wait a minute, what's happening? The supraconsciousness snail come out. And this is the supraconsciousness, we say, don't listen to this voice. Don't. Look at these people, they don't exist. So please watch this movie, Beautiful Mind. You see the power of supraconsciousness, which place you above your thinking brain. Thinking brain can be very sick. Supraconsciousness, never. Whatever your level of happiness, bad experience, stress you had in your life, even the worst people among you, if suddenly you let the supraconsciousness snail come out, immediately you are a Buddha. in the now, which doesn't exist, and the here, which doesn't exist. The two gates of infinity open, and you reach happiness. And if you wish to keep that, 
you will not. Because if you wish, you are thinking. So if you feel it, if you reach this level, suddenly you feel, everybody here can feel it one second or less than one second. Ah, yes. Everybody. Try. Without trying. Because if you try, you think. Do it. Without thinking. Just now. Let's do, let's do it. Feel now. Okay? At, at one, at zero, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. So everybody can feel it. I don't know if you did all, but everybody can feel it, but a short fraction of a second. The problem is to stay like that. Because immediately when you say, wow, you it's beautiful, I feel good, then you say, oh, I want to stay like that? You're thinking. As soon as you want to stay like that, you are thinking, and if you are thinking, it stops. So the art of meditation is to be like that and stay like that without wishing to stay like that. As soon as you wish, it stops. As soon as you say, whoa, what's happening? How, how, how long can I stay like that? Question we ask. Wow, I want to stay. I want to finish. Don't want anything. Don't wish anything. Don't count anything. When you are now, there is no tomorrow. There is no... When is the time we stop, Maitreya, stop speaking, I need PP. No. You forget the bladder. There is nothing. But if you think, oh, translation is bad. Oh, the seat is not comfortable. Oh, I'm too far. I cannot see very well. He finished. And that's the problem. And tomorrow I will teach you more about meditation and how to stay in the now. which doesn't exist, and in a here, which doesn't exist. I am not here, and I am not now. I am. If you say now, oh, you calculate. Here, I am. Say it. I am. Feel. Okay, everybody. And you feel. And then you feel, I am what? Not, not what? Nothing. Say, I am happy. You are not happy. I am. And I wish you to stop wishing. And to be.